as you can see it's really in need of a good clean and here are filings but not I don't see any material being eaten away is it if I want to take out the barrel and try to take it out like this I'm not going to risk bending this wheel so I leave it simply remove these and then take out the barrel but there's a hair isn't it yeah see if we can remove that stain during uh, restoration now I can take out the escape wheel you can see the dirt really went through the complete movement it is dirty isn't it oh wow well. Well, for everybody who is going to do uh, the course here in November, I promise you wooden shoes. <laughs> that is really sticky. Let's have a look at the. Hey, interesting. Again, very dirty. Really in need of a good clean. rubies seem okay and now let's have a look at the gear train is there something funny going on with this wheel it seems like a residue well are we really going to clean that one This will be the one with the long pivot. Pivots are in good shape, especially for an A day movement, because and it is very dirty. If I kijk, oh yeah, of course. This is the center wheel. Hey, look at that! There might be a bit of rust. Mm. Might be extremely old lubrication. This wheel is pressed on the pivot of that center wheel because this post is not the center of the movement. Remove those two wheels and again not stressing any parts and now removing this intriguing wheel I'm still baffled by the shape of the teeth well this wheel is friction fit to the pivot of the center wheel the biggie oh it didn't bend the wheel in any way So now I would like to see, see, there is the pivot going through the main plate. One hour later. That's it. Excellent. Very happy with that result. With the beautiful pivot. And here the coaxial wheel is the same wheel on the same axle. Uh, tell you what the problem was. On this camera. This wheel was here. And if I want to lift it up. 
these teeth will go like that. So no way I'm going to uh, apply pressure to the brass of that teeth. No chance. So what I did is this wheel was on the other side and this is the most uh, sturdy part of, uh, of the wheel, the pinion. That is the only place where you can apply pressure with lifting gently, of course. So if I lift underneath here, very close to the pivot, to the axle, uh, I can apply some force. Everything will be, uh, uh, well, stay in one piece. And then this friction fit part, I can do just gently ease out. So that was the, uh, the problem I had for the moment. There is the huge armor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, the wear, now that is an oil spill, that is insane. And again, the length is, it is a, cer a ceramic dial. Uh, the length and the width of the barrel is making it an 8 day movement. It is huge, look at that. Oh, and I know why it wasn't running. Look at that. Well, always a surprise in the end. Here. That's the reason why it wasn't running. A broken mainspring but then again with an eight day movement uh, you're not going to find out easily that the spring is broken because that's only way at the end if you enjoyed this stream uh, please hit the like button uh, if you want to support our stream uh, so we can invest in improving this stream well, have a look at our YouTube channel homepage and you can see shop and uh, this is only a coffee mug uh, with our logo but uh, there's so much more clothing and stuff and we're working on more logos so just watch making fun um, very interesting movement for me to work on and to share it with you with all your questions and uh, really really enjoyable even on my night off because this is usually my night off uh, again thank you so much for your support and your enthusiasm um, if you like watchmaking and videos have a look on our youtube channel Chronoglide. if you have any suggestions please let me know via uh, youtube uh, via the comments and uh, for future projects or things you would like to see uh, always willing to oblige Again, all thank you so much for your attention and your support and I uh, hope to see you soon. See ya. Bye.